Hello! I want to talk briefly about Bestine, the solvent I personally think is best for removing stickers from paper, such as video game inserts and cardboard, compared to what I see a lot of people using, Goo Gone. I'm not going to claim my way is the absolute best way, but I do want to demonstrate why I like Bestine. Bestine is the solvent N-heptane. As far as I know, undo is the exact same thing. Bestine is used to conserve movie posters by removing tape and dry mounting adhesive. It's also used by stamp collectors to remove stamps from envelopes. And as far as my limited knowledge goes, heptane is one of the solvents frequently found in lighter fluid. So if you've heard of people using lighter fluid to remove stickers, this may be the actual solvent doing the work, minus the additives. I'm not a chemist though, so maybe let's not speculate. So I've got this box for Super RBI Baseball. It's a real SNES box that was cut up for a rental case, so I don't mind destroying it in the name of some light science. I stuck two large paper labels to it, and we're going to remove one with Bestine and the other with Goo Gone. So I know people sort of like to soak stickers in the solvent. What I personally do is I use a plastic razor and I keep a wet edge of solvent along the adhesive while I kind of roll the sticker off. It's what works for me. I'm not saying your way isn't better, but this is what I'm doing. And just to be clear, I'm not being super careful with this box because it's worthless. So on the Bestine side, it took me about a minute and a half to remove this label. And it came off nicely, but there's still a rough stickiness on the surface of the box that I'm going to clean up later. Now on the Goo Gone side, I'm going to do the same thing. This took me about five minutes. And to be fair, if I really didn't care about this box, I might be squirting on loads of Goo Gone from the bottle to keep that wet edge instead of using a Q-tip, but using the same method as the Bestine, it clearly took much longer this way. But this isn't the reason I prefer Bestine. As I pick it up, you can see how oily and gross the Goo Gone side is. Bestine evaporates very quickly. Goo Gone is an oil-based product that leaves a residue and will soak into and stain paper products. That's the real problem. Just to show my Q-tips here, neither the Bestine or Goo Gone lifted up any ink during this process. This isn't an issue I have with either product, but I wanted to show you. And so now I'm going to clean off both sides. For the Goo Gone side, I'm going to wipe it down with a paper towel. The Bestine side is still a little tacky, so I'm going to use some more Bestine to clean off the remaining adhesive. And I got this paper towel a little wetter than I needed to, just for the record. And now, looking at the box, I think it looks pretty good. At least on this semi-gloss SNES box, I can't notice that the Goo Gone has stained anything at all. If this was a PS2 insert on the other hand, the entire insert on the back would look soaked through and obviously stained. What I can notice though is the texture. Even after wiping off the Goo Gone, I can tell the right side of this box is still a little slick with the remaining oil residue. The left side of the box just feels like a plain old regular SNES box. And so to demonstrate this issue in the worst case scenario, I'm going to use the unfinished back of the box. I'm going to squirt some Goo Gone on it, and I'm going to drip a good amount of Bestine onto it. After about a minute, the Bestine is completely gone. And obviously the Goo Gone is still here, and I don't know if anyone would really think isopropyl alcohol would clear this up, but here's me trying, and you can see the alcohol evaporates after about a minute, and the Goo Gone stain is there forever. Yes, maybe there's a magic paper cleaning method that could get this stain out, but really there's no reason to deal with Goo Gone around paper to begin with if you can help it. I also want to show the relative paper safety of each of these, if only to show that it won't obliterate ink like alcohol does. In this first test, I'm scrubbing very hard for 30 seconds, although it's not very realistic that you would ever do this. You can see the isopropyl alcohol eats off the ink immediately. The Goo Gone does really well, only eating off a little ink in the end. And I kind of drenched it in Bestine, but you can still clearly see it ate a line of ink through. As one final test, I did 30 seconds of light to medium scrubbing, as if I was scrubbing off some stubborn residue. Although, even this is relatively hard compared to what's actually necessary to remove a sticker, say. You can see the Bestine ate a tiny bit of ink off the box. I can't see the damage on the box, but there's clearly some ink on the Q-tip. Same thing with the Goo Gone, and there's virtually no ink at all. In my opinion, either of these products is relatively safe to use on a printed surface like this, with a little care, as long as you're not adding a ton of friction. And that's really it. Bestine is faster, cleaner, at least relatively safe on printed ink, and most importantly, it doesn't stain paper. 
to me, it's a clear winner. And it's not like I think Gugan's a bad product either. I think it's great for plastic and a million other things. I just don't personally let it touch paper. If you disagree, that's great too. Keep doing your thing. I hope this helped someone understand why some people rave about Bestine a little better. And thanks for watching.